Physician Tory Lanes, convicted of shooting rapper Megan the Stallion, sentenced to 10 years in prison. A judge in Los Angeles handing down that sentence today, culminating a case that filled gossip pages and polarized the music industry. Lanes was found guilty last year of shooting Megan the Stallion in the foot during an argument in 2020. During a statement read in court, Megan said that she has not experienced a single day of peace since that shooting. Lanes' attorney arguing that there was not enough evidence to convict him. They do plan to appeal the conviction. Okay, guys, it's King Von Hold it down for the cool table, man. I'm right back at you with some breaking news. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, the homie Tory Lanez is being sentenced to 10 years in prison uh, for the shooting altercation with him and Megan Thee Stallion. And I'd also like to say with Kelsey, let's just be real. Um, a lot of this comes down to, to the not allowing the information to get put into the case or being dis or information being disregarded in the case. Uh, he's been he's been screaming that his lawyer's been screaming that uh, the public have the public has been screaming that um, it's been it's been real crazy. A lot of people thought it would be a mis mistrial because of all the confusion and you know Kelsey's supposed role in it and it's it's a it's a crazy ugly mess right in the end of the day. And let's just say this: If it's true, which there, which by the by the standards of the court and the judicial system, right? He, he's had his trial. He was found guilty. You know, he's sentenced. So technically, he's guilty of the crime, right? Regardless if you feel he's wrongly accused, wrongly uh, convicted or not, right? So, if he's guilty, I still think ten years is excess is excessive. Is, is 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 tremendously excessive i've seen crimes man hold up let's even talk about like great right and you know what i mean by great right it's just put a g in front of it right that itself i've seen carry the sentence of five years this has nothing to do with anything of that level and he's getting 10 years right 10 years uh i've seen people get away with gun charges and i've seen a lot of stuff drug charges carrying six years five years things like that three years two years this gets 10 years and deportation so when he gets out he can't even stay here he has to still go back home which is you know fine whatever whatever but it's just the fact that the sentence is much more excessive than just some some other things that we have seen and i know california is different but that doesn't that doesn't explain a lot that doesn't explain awful lot it doesn't tell me why here in california you can get away with such and such and such and get charged very minimal, right? Uh, and then be charged with this and get charged very high, right? 10 years, excessive. But for example, um, and, and I know this is gonna be two different states, right? But Bobby Smurda was sentenced for seven years. Seven years, right? These guys was, you know, investigated for a murder, right? Uh, trying to use their lyrics against them with the murder, you know, about catching the body several weeks ago, right? Uh, caught with guns and charged with gun possession and all this stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a RICO case, but it was. They caught several individuals under like a gang statue and stuff. This is a serious case they had. They got seven years, right? And he took. He actually took more time, so his homie didn't have to do more time, right? Bobby Schmidt actually took more time, so his homie didn't have to do more time. And still, it wasn't more than ten years. So it just makes me wonder, like, what the hell is going on? Why? How? Right? His lawyer has some things to say as well. Um, we're going to go check that out, man. Y'all stay with me. I would say uh, we're extremely disappointed that uh, Tory did not uh, get the sentence that we had certainly hoped for. I think uh, the sentence handed down was incredibly harsh. Uh, I have seen cases. Uh, vehicular homicide and other cases where there's death and the person still gets less than 10 years. And in this case, uh, to, to get a 10 year sentence is extreme. And really just another example of someone being punished for their celebrity status and someone being uh, utilized as a, uh, to send an example. And he's not an example, he's a human being. And uh, and I think uh, it's incredibly unfortunate, and it's something that we plan on appealing. I'm incredibly disappointed 
that the district attorney's office didn't uh, step up and put their money where their mouth was in this case. But hey, um, that's that's certainly within their discretion, and, uh, and that's why you have two sides to the argument. Look, even if you want to believe that he's guilty of these charges, one person, one night, and, and something so out of character uh, does not judge an entire person's life. And I think that, um, you know, I, I do this for a living for two reasons. One, because not everyone is guilty, and two, because just because someone makes a mistake doesn't mean they should pay for it for the rest of their lives the way uh, this situation turned out. So it's something that we're all motivated to try and turn around and fight for. It's, it's, a, it's a difficult job, and especially when uh, so many people cry for blood out there. So at the end of the day, man, I just don't have enough, I don't have all the information right here in front of me, man. I really wish I had more of that research to kind of shoot at you guys to tell you, but I really want you to go check it out, man, because in my opinion, from day one, there's always been skepticism. It's always been a divide with between men and women, and even some women that don't feel like this is, I mean, if you look at the comment section on many posts on IG or Twitter or anything of that nature, you'll see the divide itself. And that's between women who don't believe that she was hurt or don't believe it was to this thing or don't believe some of the story or don't believe Megan period. And then there's women that's like all the way down for it. Support, support, support. Yeah, 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 F Tory. Then there's guys who are obviously like free Tory. Then there's guys who are, you know, whatever, sissy boys. And they like, they're down with, so it's just, a, it's big, it's been a divisive conversation, period. And uh, for good reason, I think, right? Because you can't just support something blanketly. And just say, oh, just because she's a woman, we're going to support that. We're going to believe that. When there's holes and things in the story that just don't make sense. Her lying or taking back the story. Her, uh, the reason of the fight. The person she was actually in the fight with. The person who actually had the gunpowder on their hand. Who actually, so that shows who actually shot the gun. Tory Lanez didn't have any gunpowder on his hand or residue, right? So these things kept come into question. The, uh, the tra trajectory of the shooting. Like, it's just all these things that were brought up during the case. So how did he still, I just don't understand. I just don't, I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. But nonetheless, this is what it is, man. Uh, I just wanted to bring this breaking news to you guys. And uh, yeah, you know, we, uh, of course they're gonna go to appeal. I don't know if he has a good chance at this appeal, man. I don't know, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, because if, if, if they see what we have seen, then hopefully they take that stuff into consideration and he gets, at least a lesser sentence, bro. Like, at least a lesser sentence. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he don't have to necessarily get off if y'all not going to do that. But at least give the brother a lesser sentence, man. A year, two years. Uh, ten years, bro? The only good thing is that when he gets out, I'm not sure what how old he is now, but he's definitely going to have uh, music. <laughs> And that's the only light I see, right? Like, you know, he maybe that maybe he get out on good behavior early, but he the only set, but then he he's not gonna be able to come and perform that music here. He's only gonna be able to perform that music uh, outside of the United States, which I mean, which, which is still cool. He can still get banked. You know, he's from Canada. He still can get cake there. You know, uh, but they're a very woke country, so they might not accept him because of what he's been convicted of. But who knows how that works? You know. Uh, it's just a sad situation though, man. You know, it's a sad situation. And, and you know, let me say this. I don't want to be the guy that's not with uh, the woman that is a victim, right? According to the law, is a victim. And so I'm sorry for her situation and what she's going through. Um, because according to the law and according to how things went down, she should be believed at this point because she went through the whole process. And court you know that's just how, how it felt so i know this is a tumultuous situation for her too man and uh you know hold your head up whatever but i still believe that toy lanes was unjustly locked up in this situation i think that the situation the whole story is not being told or uh it's being ignored and uh i just wish him the best man you know, I just wish him the best. So, until the next time, man, I'm gonna catch you cool kids, and hopefully y'all like, like, share, and subscribe. Do all those great things as well. Tell me how you feel in the comments below. 
And uh, I'll get it with you cool kids next time. Deuce.